Okay, so here I just want to try and give you a somewhat intuitive introduction to beating and resonance. The details, the mathematical details and the derivation are discussed in the course uh, notes, but I thought in terms of trying to give you a, a feel for exactly what beating and resonance are, doing this in terms of sound I think is actually a very nice way to do so. So I've plotted here um, a simple sine wave, it's uh, 440 hertz frequency, and so one period is about 0 0.002 seconds. And of course this is a single tone in terms of sound, so the signal continues beyond one period, so if you go to 10 periods you get the graph on the right, and, uh, and so on. And so if you play the 440 hertz signal, this pure tone sounds just like this. And then if we increase the frequency by one hertz, we can again draw the graph. It doesn't actually look very different because the increase is proportionally extremely small, but it is a very slightly shorter period. But then if you uh, play the sound of 441 hertz, it sounds like this. But let's go on to combining the two. So if we add the two signals, so we have a 440 hertz signal and a 441 hertz signal, and if we play these at the same time, we get constructive and destructive interference, and this results in beating. And that sounds something like this. At the beginning of time here, the signals are initially constructively combining with each other, so you get a doubling of the amplitude. But because one signal is very slightly out of phase with the other, it will eventually get to a point at t equals 0 0.5 where they cancel each other out. And so you then get this drop in the amplitude. And of course amplitude here corresponds to the loudness of what we're hearing. And so this is why you get this loud and quiet beating phenomenon. We can demonstrate this perhaps more clearly mathematically through a trigonometric rule. So if I just take this rule from Wikipedia, the addition of two signs can be rewritten in terms of a multiple application of a sine and a cosine. So if we do that, we get this, and then if we just tidy it up a little bit, I think it's then quite clear to see that we have a relatively quick sine wave going at 440.5 hertz, multiplied by a relatively slow cosine wave with a frequency of one half hertz. So it's completing a cycle or a period every two seconds in this case. And you can see that quite clearly on the graph because cosine of zero is 1, so you expect to have a peak at t equals 0, and, and indeed that's what we have. The second and final phenomenon that I want to demonstrate is resonance. If you solve for resonance, you can get a function of time which looks something like um, that on the right. And so then if you plot that, you get the graph on the left, and then if you listen to that, and so you, again we're converting this amplitude to, to the loudness of the sound, it sounds like this. And so, uh, as expected, we get this gradual increase in the loudness of the sound with time.